Well, people living in Wasako want to know what their city and, and county plan to do to fix some flooding issues. This after their cars were stranded on a flooded frontage roads again last night. Channel 5's Taylor Winkle asked county officials what's next after less than three months ago, floodwaters hit the same spot. Dozens lined up in West Laco, just trying to prepare. Last time it rained, we came three inches before it came into our door. Anxious after a quick shower last night started looking like this scene from June. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to have a hurricane evacuation route that we don't have access to or that we can't exit off of. Precinct 1 Commissioner David Fuentes says he has plans for both a short-term and a long-term fix, but that's going to take some time. And I can't go back and change 100 years of, of ditches overnight. And money. <laughs> Speaking short-term, since June, Fuentes says all the county could really do was go back and clean out blocked drainage ditches, fix some broken lines, and work on a more permanent solution. We don't want to just shoot by the hip and go out and say hey we you know we had flooding over here let's dig uh, a bigger ditch if it doesn't have an outfall that makes sense then it's not going to work today they're urging people to get ready so there's something out there and we don't know if it's going to develop with crews on standby since sunday we have a lot of pumps that are stationed along the ibwc he's talking about the river where once water starts to rise, we're able to pump it out into the IBWC again to increase capacities in our in our uh, ditches. This tactic helping to move water out of the community faster. And as for a long-term plan, the county proposed projects along the expressway in conjunction with Textaw to help cover some of those costs. They also have a bond set for the November ballot. A three cent property tax hike, Fuentes says, would generate about $50 million worth of new drainage. Well, unfortunately, until we're able to put some solutions in the ground and dig some holes and widen some ditches and put some pumps in place, unfortunately, we have to manage what we have right now. And these are the systems we have. For now, people living here are watching the skies. We were very worried. So we're here today to stock up on some sandbags. Hoping the flooding rains don't become the new norm. In Westlaco, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 6.